Right, so in this particular video, we are going to see how we can set up this contact us button on our Facebook page and how do you integrate that particular thing with an, with an automated chatbot. So let's say first I'll show you what it happens. So when somebody is tapping on this contact us button for me, so obviously this is my admin account, so I'll say test button. But if you go to my page and click on contact us, it will have a link redirected to messenger. So if you are opening that on your mobile phone, that will open up Facebook messenger and make sure that is Facebook messenger, uh, the full version. Don't use Facebook messenger Lite because that would not integrate properly with your Facebook chatbot. All right, so there you go. It has opened and now check this out. This is what you will get. All right, instantly uh, the there would be an image on the top uh, where there is a picture of mine where I'm saying hello and uh, then there would be a message hello Pratik Singh so this would be the first name of you all right whosoever you are and whosoever is tapping on the contact us button his or her first name would come over here thank you so much for clicking the contact us button so obviously uh, we'll configure this message what do you want in this message you can just configure that followed by a couple of options which you wish to have for them right depending upon what you have so treat this as a menu treat this as a menu for yourself for this particular message now people who have anything like people want to uh, have a consultation call with you so let's suppose if I click on this there would be next option people clicking on podcast will have next option let's suppose if I click on I have a question or free resources anything let's say free resources all right when somebody is clicking on free resources then instantly there would be a message once again and then there would be enjoy free resources and things like that. So how do you configure this particular thing with a chatbot? So let's start with that. So I'm going to click close this uh, messenger box, uh, come back to many chat and uh, what you have to do is go to growth tools. Once you go over there, you click on new growth tool and for this particular one, right, uh, the function which we're going to be using or the widget which we're going to be using is this one. This is the growth tool which we are going to use messenger ref url all right messenger reference url so let's just name this as demo uh something like that uh, demo uh, dpu contact us button all right i have just named that and now i'm going to click on this messenger reference url so this is how it has opened. Now uh, you don't have to upgrade to pro version if you are fine with the watermark because this particular widget is available in the free version as well. Uh, now uh, you'll have to click on edit. Once you click on edit, here is where you start configuring everything. So now I'm gonna actually show you uh, my chatbot which I have configured over here, all right, on a different tab. So let me just close the Facebook page and on this particular page, I am going to show you the actual uh, growth tool. And uh, the growth tool which uh, I have is uh, digital with send message button on page. So let me just rename, all right, so I can just rename that inside. It would be contact us button, contact us button on the page. All right, so I'll save this. This is my actual bot, all right? This is the actual bot which you just saw. So I have just, this name over here so instead of that i have something as demo dpu contact now that is just for our reference so the first thing which you have to do is starting step opt-in message whenever somebody is tapping on contact us what do you want to send as the first interaction message so if i click on edit i'll show you my actual message so there was an image which was coming and then there is a text message so let's go over here i'll just delete this one which is the by default one i don't want that now i'll click on image and I'll upload one image. So I'll upload the same image. And after that, I want a text as well. So I'll click on text and I'll simply copy and paste this particular thing over here. All right. And make sure this is the first name. So how do you get this kind of thing? You click on this uh, small little curly bracket. So wherever you wish to have, or you can just type two curly braces and it will come up. All right. Two curly braces or it will come up or you can simply click on this and it will give you all the available options whatever you wish to have so that's how i configured this one and uh, then comes all these menu right all these menu so i'm gonna do two of them and then you can just go ahead uh, as long as you want uh, so let's say this one how do you configure this you click on this quick reply so tap on that and write anything let's say enroll in free course 
right and now you click on this and what do you want when somebody is clicking on enroll in free course you want to send them a message so I'm sending a message all right I'm sending a message which is this particular one so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to click on this send a message tap on this once again and I would just send this particular message over here once I do that next I also have a button attached with that all right so I'll click on this add button and I will say enroll in free course that's it all right now when somebody is tapping on the button what do you want I want to open a website all right that is what I have configured over here so this is the link which when clicked opens up so I click on open website insert the URL and let this be everything as it is I'll explain what this additional action is you can tag people and such kind of things I'll teach you that when we go into automation and sequence now let's click on done and this is what we have configured now uh, just to mention I have a couple of different names over here so this is just for my reference so when you start building your bot and as long as you have more and more things you will need to just figure out what is there inside that so if you simply have send message you won't be able to justify that what is this option so for just for our purpose just for the sake of you understanding your bot which is within the software people won't be seeing this so I just name my individual elements uh, accordingly so that I come to know okay so this is this is the particular one which is just for I have a question this is for podcast so if I just want to edit the podcast thing I'll click on podcast and come over here and change something all right so just make sure you have proper names so that whenever you grow your uh, board you come to know that what is inside that so the first message I always keep it like welcome message and then consequently whatever it is so this is for enrolling in free course I would just say enroll in free course and that's it all right so now we have welcome message followed with one button all right let's put up the second button as well quick reply and this would be let's say for podcast let's suppose podcast so what do I have for podcast uh, this is the one let's copy that come back over here tap on podcast click on send message because that is what we want when somebody is clicking on podcast let's just name this as podcast and insert a button which when clicked opens up a URL which is this one digitalpratik.com slash podcast and let's name this as podcast as the button or let's say subscribe my podcast that's it make sure you click on done and you're all set all right so now I have a welcome message followed with this and enroll in free course podcast click on publish and you're good to go all right you're good to go so now your bot is becoming now uh, as you get more and more idea you can just enhance this you can click on welcome message you can tap on a quick reply you can insert image you can do plenty of things all right but now how do you configure this particular thing with your Facebook pages contact us button so once again you go to widgets over here and then you tap on this demo DPU the widget which you have just created or the growth tool which you have just created click on that and then you'll have setup the bot which you had was over here in opt-in actions right you completely had something over here now come back over here and click on setup so you will have this particular link which when clicked on copy URL to clipboard now go to your Facebook page and on that Facebook page just insert that URL inside the box so let's suppose uh, we go over here so let's just wait for it to open up and uh, there would be a contact us button so you can also change the call to action things click over here click on edit button and uh, I have personally said contact you so click on contact you and contact us and I would say next and here is the website link so in this website link you have to insert that particular link so that is how it gets configured all right that is how it gets configured so for me if I click on test button now there is this message all right so this is my by default message the image and the text message would appear 
right? So that's how you configure uh, this particular growth tool, which is the messenger link. So now I'll go back to growth tool and I'll first delete this because this is not my active version. So I'll click on delete, delete, and I'm good to go. Let's close this. All right, so I'll see you in the next one.